Welcome everybody to the Single on Stiletto Show. I'm Suzanne Oshima and I'm a matchmaker and dating coach at Dream Bachelor and Bachelorette and I'm also the founder of Single on Stilettos. Today we have on our show Robert Manny and he's the author of The Guy's Guy's Guide to Love. And I'm so excited to have him here today because today we're talking about five ways women sabotage themselves with men. And I know it's hard to believe, but I've seen it. And I actually used to do it a lot too in my 20s and 30s. But we're going to stop you from doing that with Robert's tips. So before we jump into it, Robert, I would love for you to tell our audience a little bit about you and what made you write this book. Okay, my background's in marketing and advertising. I was a uh inspired to write uh, the book, The Guy's Guy's Guy to Love. It is a novel, but uh, it's gotten a lot of uh, acclaim and uh, been asked lots of questions about relationships because ultimately The Guy's Guy's Guy to Love is about love and relationships. So uh, it's really about um, what I want to do is help bridge the gap in communication between men and women using the power of story. So it's kind of a how-to because the main character writes a column about uh, relationships. He's a, gu a guy who writes a column for women to learn about men. And uh, from there, we started building out uh, a brand, if you will. We have a radio podcast, weekly podcast, Guys Guys Radio, and my website's robertmanny, M-A-N-N-I.com. Awesome. Well, and ladies, I can testify that it's an awesome book. It's like the male version of Sex in the City. When I picked it up, I couldn't put it down. It's such a good book. So... Thanks. Um, okay, so tell us the first way women sabotage themselves with men. Well, I think uh, it's not just women who sabotage themselves. I think a lot of singles sabotage themselves. And one way is um, you have to kind of be in it to win it, I like to say. And a lot of people complain or feel like they're not loved and they, they want to be dating. And then they get into a routine. Maybe it's been a long winter and you start watching the Housewives shows or Game of Thrones or whatever. And you don't get yourself out there and maybe you had some bad experiences online and a lot of times that occurs because people don't think to think through. They don't know what their goals are. They don't really know exactly what they want out of the experience. It's the same in a lot of areas in life, but I think you have to be you have to put yourself out there. You have to be willing to fail to be able to succeed. So I think a, one major way where singles and a lot of times with women they they don't they start to retreat they stay at home, they don't get themselves out there. And uh, you, you gotta put yourself out there. No matter what's happening, you get knocked down, you gotta get back up and you can win. We can all win. And we all do win, ultimately. That is so true and it's, it's so interesting to me as a dating coach where sometimes um, I will talk to women and they'll say, yeah, I just can't, I haven't met the right man and blah, blah, blah. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And then I'll ask them, what are you doing to get out there? And then I actually, as I dig deeper, I find out that they're not really doing anything significant. So Robert, you're actually, you're so right in that you have to be in it to win it, right? Yep. Okay. So what's your second way? Uh, I think the second thing is another thing where uh, most of us fall victim to, and that is always being plugged in. You know, it's interesting. Uh, we live in New York City, and people come here from all over the world to experience New York, yet you see them with the phone and with the earbuds. And to me, I, I, I don't really listen to music a lot on the subway or whatever unless I really want to get away because I want to experience everything about New York. And I think a lot of times there's a lot of attractive women who are just, they've got their coffee, they've got their earbuds in, or they're in the gym, and they've got the phone, and the, how do you, uh, you might, there might be a nice guy, and he's, you know, the guys are looking for a way in, and they, guys are not that great at reading signals and openness with women anyhow, and a lot of times women want guys to approach them, but they're not sending out the signals, the overt, guys know how to read overt signals, like if you're plugged in, and you're on the phone, it's hard for a guy to like barge in on that. Um, not barge in, but really just ask an open-ended question, introduce themselves, just chat you up. Even if you're online getting your Starbucks or whatever, you know, there's ample opportunities for people to meet, but a lot of times we're kind of walled off through technology. 
I completely agree, and I actually give that tip a lot. And what I call it is that those are barriers to meeting someone organically. People always complain to me that they can't meet someone organically. Well, if you put down the technology, take out the earbuds like Robert was saying, and put down your your phones, you're more likely to meet someone uh, organically. So ladies, put away the technology. Okay, so what's the third way? Uh, I think the third thing, and it also applies to both sexes, but uh, I think women have a lot of t uh, difficulty with this. And I actually just wrote a, just wrote a blog post for guys about where to meet women and how to approach them, because uh, factoring in that a lot of times people are plugged in and you can't get through them. The other thing is you have to fish where the fish are, and so if you want to meet guys, you want to go where the guys are, and you usually you find guys they're at sporting events, they're playing sports. They might be at a tech store, or they might be at a whiskey tasting, or a football game, or at the gym. Or, you know, you have to kind of put yourself into a guy's skin and a guy's head and say, where, where do the guys hang out? When I know my brother or my friends and the guys are going someplace, well, it's usually the same type of places. So if you want to meet guys, that's the easy place to meet guys. Uh, and guys are pretty easy to meet. They're pretty open about being approached for the most part unless they're a celebrity, and uh, all you have to do is find out where the fish are, and guys are usually with a group of other guys, and uh, they're looking for, they're looking to meet nice girls and nice women. That is so true, and I, I have to just add in this funny story about another dating coach that I know. She actually met her husband at a steakhouse bar, and she's a vegetarian, and they're now married, and they have a child. Sure. So it's very well, true what Robert said. Go where the men are. And perfect place, and that's a steak place is a great idea also. And it's a and if you're a vegan or vegetarian, great, great conversation opener. I mean, you don't want to get into like some argument about eating meat, but it's it's interesting topic because actually I'm a I've been a vegetarian for eight years. I used to love to go to steakhouses, and it's you know there's always things to talk about. Um, if you just all you have to do is find where the guys are guys are pretty easy to, to deal with once you can uh, Locate them, but you know if don't take this the wrong way ladies, but you know if you hang out with your gay friends You, you you're not going to necessarily meet the guys that you want to date and You know, that's just the way it is so they might have different interests They may not and they may have different interests, but if you want to meet the Petro guys you got to go where the hetero guys go. That's just the way it is. Yep. Very true. Okay, so what's the fourth way? Um, the fourth one is, you know, you, uh, again, about making it difficult for guys to kind of get in there. Like when the ladies travel in packs, sometimes a guy, uh, maybe it's one guy and his friend, and there's, you know, five women, and it's sometimes one, the guy wants to go in on his own, and then he's got to figure out, well, how do I handle the group dynamics? Because, you know, my thing was always make sure you talk to all the women and particularly the least attractive ones, because you want to get everybody on your side. But it's tough when, you know, if a woman's with her girlfriend, that's one thing, and they're having dinner. Usually maybe they're having a glass of wine or something first. It's, it's not that tough to, to, to meet them. But when there, it's a pack and there's no dancing involved, you know, sometimes it's tough to go in there because you could really get, you know, the guy doesn't want to get splattered if he goes into, you know, a group of women because they might just totally diss them. You never know. So you want to make it easier. Anything you can do to make it easier because guys can be, you know, they're either too cocky or sometimes they're too timid and they're not great at reading your signals. So if you're with a pack of other women, a guy's going to be looking, but he's going to be trying to figure a way in and before you know it, the night's over. Yep, that is true. Okay, so what's the fifth way? Well, actually, the fifth way is, I think, one of the most important ways. That is uh, a lot of ladies have a, you know, they have their list. And if you stick too closely to the list, um, you're going to narrow down your opportunities because uh, the longer you're single, the longer the list grows. And uh, for a lot of for a lot of people, particularly the ladies, and uh, you know there has to be a couple of you know core items on the list. But beyond that, you don't want to get you know too superficial. Uh, if if, the, if your list is value oriented, that's great because that's really where you make the connection. Uh, and then you, you can't do anything about chemistry. That just, it is what it is. But other things like if he has long fingers or not, or like what type of shoes he wears, you know, you don't want him to be a slob, but you have to be a little bit uh, flexible about uh, having this particular type, a physical type. 
Um, and you never know what can happen. I actually found that I, at least 50% of the time of my longer term girlfriends were not on type. Now, maybe that's why I didn't end up marrying them uh, or we didn't get married, but um, we had, you know, wonderful relationships. And uh, I, I tried to keep an open mind. And if I felt comfortable with somebody, I found that my partner always became more beautiful over time. Even if initially I wasn't like sure, they, you know, things, love grows if you keep an open heart. Um, and there's actually, Suzanne, I have a bonus item also, because I know it was five things, but there's actually six, if I may throw sure. it in there. Yeah. I think good mm -hmm. That is, I think we have a tendency in this fast paced uh, game of love to, you know, throw people back in the pool too quickly. Uh, everybody, you know, stubs their toe. Nobody's perfect in those first initial meetings. Sometimes it's a little bit awkward. Sometimes you click right away. Other times it takes a little bit of time to get to know somebody. And even that first, you know, intimate moment, sometimes it's not the best, but it can turn into something spectacular if you give things a chance. Now, I'm not saying, you know, you have to sleep with every guy you go out with three times before you decide that's not for me. But I think just in terms of getting to know somebody, you have a coffee date or something, you know, you know if it's definitely not a, a non-starter. But if you're on the fence and the guy's pretty cool and he's interested in you, I, I would suggest keep an open mind because it may work out with him. You may find that the connection grows and who knows, you, you could become friends and maybe he's got some buddies that uh, interest you also. It's always good to meet people and give people a chance. Exactly. I, I couldn't agree with you more wholeheartedly because it's so true. I see this all the time. And it's not just with women, it's with men too. But since we're talking to the ladies, ladies, uh, take these uh, tips to heart. So, Robert, uh, where can our audience find you and your book? Okay, well, the book, you can find the book probably the easiest place is on Amazon. It's on sale there right now. You can get the physical book or the ebook. My website, again, Robert Manny. M A N N I dot com, and also I have Guys Guys Radio, where I interview uh, experts uh, like Suzanne uh, in the relationship game, and also a lot of wellness people and spiritual people come onto the show, and it's on iTunes and Blog Talk Radio and a whole other platforms online. Awesome. Well, thanks, Robert, for joining us on the Single and Stiletto Show. Oh, uh, thank you. My pleasure, and I hope I could help out, ladies. All the best to you, and remember, when men and women can be at their best. Everyone wins. Thanks, everybody, for joining us on the Single and Stiletto Show. Our show is available both in video format and podcast format. If you'd like to view the videos, go to singleandstilettos.com. If you'd like to get the podcast, you can download it from iTunes. If you'd like to get our free ebook on the three secrets guaranteed to attract any man based on scientific research, just click right here on the video or go to singleandstilettos.com.